Shalom, brothers and sisters. We are restricting freedom for the common good. Now, if you're watching this video after the rapture and we've all gone, I want you to remember this statement that I'm reading to you from today in 2023. This is going to become something you hear a lot. We are restricting freedom for the common good. Irish Green Party calls for limiting free speech. The Irish Green Party followed many on the left around the world, including our own Democratic Party in America this week, and came out for censorship, speech control, and so on. The party went full Orwellian as its chairwoman, Pauline O'Reilly, called for restricting freedom to protect it. The anti-free speech movement has become openly Orwellian in claiming to protect freedom by limiting freedom. It employs terms like disinformation, misinformation, malinformation to obscure the effort to silent, silence any with opposing views. Rather than use censorship, they refer to content moderation. That effort was on full display this week in Ireland with this anti-free speech legislation. And they are protecting anybody who feels stressed or in danger or is in a protected group. Now again, this stems from LGBTQ, you know, alphabet soup people and how they are protected and feeling threatened, although most of these threats are coming from them at people. And you say anything against abortion or abortion clinics or even pray near them. These are all things that will be tied into this. You pick up your Bible and walk with it. You're carrying something that they can use against you. And this is where this is going. Shockingly, in the open, in front of everyone, and nobody's really seeing what it really is. This is just groundwork for what lies ahead. And it's going to become common everywhere. Fortunately, if you're in Christ, we don't need to stress at all. And until we leave, we stand for the truth. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.